a visual representation of how my day been going. But y'all, let's see how much I got to do by this Sunday coming up. I got an exam? And who the sun sets free is free indeed. Don't let Satan lie to you. No matter where you've come from, no matter what you've done, if you ask for forgiveness, trust in the Lord. He will make that way. We don't have to do it on our own. All, all God requires from us is faith. <laughs> Oh yeah, the mask I did for my hair, I did olive oil on the scalp, hot oil. Um, I did cholesterol with um, eggs because my hair needed some protein. And I wanted to go to the beauty supply to get a protein treatment, but I was like, I don't even feel like it. So this is what we doing. <laughs> It is so cold outside, but I got my hair done. It's so cute. I'm about to be wearing braids the whole year. I think, I don't know, but I think I will be because, you know, braids are very easy to just have. Like, you don't have to do anything to braids, but these are real cute. I like them a lot. My edges look real nice. Okay, y'all, so I just wanted to give y'all the quick scoop. Okay, so I am going into med search to write. I have classes on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and that is it. And then as far as I'll be working, I'm in an apprenticeship program, a nurse scholars program. Basically it's like um, a mutual benefit program so they benefit you you benefit them by signing a contract to work at their hospital for three years once you are a, a registered nurse so um what they do their obligation to me is to pay my tuition if i need help with my tuition but i get grants so um i don't need help with my tuition but they pay for my uniforms and all my materials on my books they give me um stipends and um they allow me to work 24 hours in a six week period so i'm only required to work 24 hours in a six week period meaning i can work i can pick my shifts how i want meaning i could do um six four hour shifts you know and like i could do four this week for next week for the next week you know what i'm saying and then it just is depending on my flexibility and how I want to work and um, it'll give me a chance to focus on my school um, focus on my school while also making a little bit of money also I have a quick public announcement if you're ever looking for a robe don't go to Target don't go to Target don't go to Target whatever you do because this robe this robe is real pretty right but it bled all over my clothes like my sweater that i wore today it still got a whole bunch of burgundy lint on it like all my life my mom bought my robes and the best robe i had was from aldi's i'm not gonna lie the best robe i had was from aldi's it was so pretty i had it for years and then i threw i finally threw it away because it was getting holes and all type of stuff in it so I'm, I'm like i need to give me a robe because like i was i was going into the winter without a robe and can't be doing that so don't tell give me a robe baby it's it's warm but it's it shouldn't have bled like that like and I, I, that makes me feel like it's not gonna last good morning y'all 
So, um, it is Sunday. Still counting down until we have class. Um, this has been a pretty chill day. Um, a Bible study today. All right. I got some words, y'all. So I want to talk about spiritual warfare and how do we deal with it as believers because we have to understand that it's deeper than the physical. You know, the stuff we can see, touch, feel, hear, but we don't, the stuff that's going on internally and the stuff that's going on around us that we can't see, that's our biggest fight, you know, like, especially like when we think about mental health issues, anxiety, depression, all the things that plenty of people face, it comes from, you know, a spiritual battle from within, like, so the Lord tells us, you know, how we can navigate through it because it can become very hard. We fight with the whole armor of God. So we must fight with the whole armor of God because it's a spiritual battle. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. It says that we need to have the belt of truth. So for me, that's like believing all that the Lord has promised you, trusting in his word, not believing the lies Satan tries to place in your head. So a tip for me is when Satan tries to place a, a lie in my mind, in my heart, in my soul, I'm going to go to the scripture and I'm going to find the truth. I also like, you know, when you read the scripture, you you hear it in your head, you might not know it word for word or you might not know like exactly where to go. You might not know to say like the verse but you you know it and you can go back to that and repeat it to yourself in your head and you can go to the word and read it out loud put on the breastplate of righteousness list by listening to the holy spirit you know not quenching and grieving the holy spirit um embracing your convictions um being obedient following this will help us to be kept pure and righteous and on the path of goodness and off the road of evil so we want to put the breastplate of righteousness on because sin gives foothold to satan when we sin or when we allow him to get in our head and 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 push us to sin we give him a foothold we give him victory and we don't ever want to give satan victory because satan is weak like when you think about the stuff he really does like it's weak compared to what god can do like okay keep your feet fitted with the readiness that comes from the gospel of peace so spreading the gospel of peace and reconciliation always doing the right thing for me it's not gossiping not using words for tearing down but using words for building up because god is peace he is love and you know we want to put our feet to um keep the peace instead of quick on our feet to cause you know trouble or um tear people down next is the shield of faith satan is the accuser of our breath in. okay so satan is an accuser and i and i know like i mean i promise Satan will get in your head and he will try to make you feel condemned. He will try to make you feel like God can't use you. He will try to make you feel like God doesn't love you. He will try to make you feel like that. You're just too bad. The things you've done, you can't come back from. But he's an accuser. Um, he will send his fiery darts to instill doubt, fear, and guilt in us. That That's what he wants. He wants to instill doubt, fear, and guilt in the Lord is not a Lord of fear. He is not a Lord of guilt. He is not a Lord of doubt because if we believe in his promises, if we believe in the things he told us, if we have faith in that, there's no need to doubt. If we have faith in his scripture, there's no need to fear. If we have faith in being forgiven, we have no reason to guilt. And if we have faith that he changes us and that he will change us and that everything is working out for our good, there is no reason to feel any, to feel any doubt, fear, or guilt. Um our faith will block these attacks 
having faith that you are saved and forgiven. Um, also, we want to have the helmet of salvation, which will protect our minds and our thoughts. And for me, that's like, all, like you know, to know that I'm saved, to know that I have a place in, in, um, to just to know that I have a place in eternal life is good feels good to me and you, I know you're, you're not supposed to say who's going to heaven or hell but the Lord says that if you believe in my son Jesus Christ know that you are saved it also says if you are sealed with my spirit this is this is my promise to you to know that you are saved the Holy Spirit comes in and changes our life if you've been a witness to it then you witness and the Lord says that know that you are saved because this is my seal on you for the day of redemption so like that right there keeps me going and protects my mind and thoughts and it, it, it makes me want to continue to do what I know to be right and to stay and to stay following God loving him and believing in him and his promises um the sword of the spirit which is the word of God the word of God is powerful it cuts like a two-edged sword in the heart it makes known the things of our heart and our mind and it's also a powerful weapon in putting away Satan like we were just talking about um you know leaving out fear and guilt and going back to the scripture for truth when the devil is trying to put lies in our head like the word of God is powerful effective and instructive and you can fight Satan off with the word of God he hates to see his children he hates to see God's children in the word of God because when we have the word of God we're, we're strengthening ourselves and we're able to fight him and, and make him flee away from us and continue to move forward to what God has called for our lives to believe because the devil doesn't want us to walk into the things God has called for our life also praying in the spirit on all occasions so we just want to keep in contact with God you know through anything like it's not just the I pray one day or I pray three times or seven times a day pray when you feel like you need to pray I find myself praying for strength when I don't feel good I pray for God to give me strength when I'm just feeling down like Lord get me up and help me to do xyz you know what i'm saying leading god me to do xyz and he does it so that is my little little one two on spiritual warfare y'all gotta go listen to v rose song it tells me so because that song is a perfect example of spiritual warfare because she says he would love for you to not know who you are so he can get in your head and break down your heart so he can get in your head and break down your heart. Yes. For real. And who the sun sets free is free indeed. Don't let Satan lie to you. No matter where you've come from, no matter what you've done, if you ask for forgiveness, trust in the Lord. He will make that way. We don't have to do it on our own. All, all God requires from us is faith. So now what I'm about to do is look at my laptop because I had got some emails from my instructor um, and he was basically telling us to look over some stuff for anatomy. So I'm about to do that really quick on canvas. So I just got up on this thing y'all. And I'm already seeing some stuff that I don't want to see. And it's quizzes, case studies. They tripping. That's pharmacology. But y'all, let's see how much I got to do by this Sunday coming up. I got an exam? What you talking about, Willis? An exam? Wait, wait a minute. Oh, okay. Wait, I'm too far down. I'm too far down. Hold on, y'all. I'm too far down. I was about to go into cardiovascular shock. It's. 
I gotta go print some stuff out, y'all. Or do I? No, I don't. I don't gotta print it out. Oh, I might do because he said write your name. He said two points if you write your name. So that means that I gotta write my name. Red blood cells level hemoglobin. Potassium is one. One thirty five to one forty five MEQs. Let me see. I mean, sodium levels. One, I say one thirty five to one forty five. Let's see if I forgot everything. <laughs> Y'all, I know my stuff. Don't play with me. A visual representation of how my day been going. I've been walking around since what? Eight o'clock this morning with my mask this way. A visual representation. Y'all, so I'm in this room. I just ate my Pop Tart. And I was talking to my mom. It's just been a crazy day. Mask been on backwards all day. My car didn't start again this morning after my brother had gave me a jump last night. My dad is actually here outside. I'm starving. The cafe was closed. I went to the bookstore. The line was on because people are getting their materials for the upcoming courses. So um, I couldn't get no food or nothing no snack like forget my materials i'm looking for a meal so i went back to the vending machine got the pop tart um my dad is here 11 45 i don't have to be out to the next hospital till 12 30 so i'm about to go have my dad take me like Culver's to wendy's or something y'all because your girl is starving basically let us out and was like um a little early she was like i want you guys to go over next class period so that you may be prepared um because you know today was just like orienting going over the syllabus all that stuff oh all my stuff fell i need to put on some lip gloss like what is it giving but basically, I just went to go see where my next class was so that, you know, I know where it's at. Um, it's been a great day so far. Three years time is due this week. Um, dosage calc. We just did dosage calc practice. Um, I did need a little refresher, but I only, got, I only missed two out of like... 25 one of them I wasn't sure on how to do it was basically three ton how many milliliters is three ton or I believe that's three ton three teeth three ton um it was 45 I have to go see how to convert that and then 17 it's supposed to be one I don't know what I did wrong but I'm gonna go back over this I'm trying to make sure I stay up on every single thing
if you want to know what a tired boss look like, you looking at one. Y'all, I got to end this vlog out because I'm tired. It's 5 o'clock. It's the next day after yesterday. Um, I'm about to get on Zoom. I got anatomy. And then tomorrow, I don't have anything. So, tomorrow, I'm probably going to the grocery store. I, I did come to the conclusion that I do want, like, some notebooks. Um, I got to get a water bottle. I got to get a lunch bag. I got to get some groceries. Probably get some new gel pens. There was stuff, stationary stuff like that. Um, as y'all can see, like, I'm tired. And I have two 12s this weekend. Like, so, if we did a recap, I did all my classes this week. Um, got to go to my clinical site. I'm on oncology. I'm taking advanced anatomy and physiology. I'm taking, um, what else am I taking? I promise physiology used to, the word physiology used to beat me up. What what did I used to say? Social, social, sociology or something like that. Like, it used to beat me up. Not no more though. I'm taking anatomy, physiology. I'm taking med search too with med search clinical on the oncology unit. And then I'm taking pharmacology. Pharmacology seemed cool, but, you know, everything is just the intro. Um... And I'm going to be light on myself this week <sighs> just because I'm just getting into the floor things. Like, tomorrow I'll get all my materials. I got, like, four assignments due this week. But thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. See you all on the flip side. And stay blessed. Bye.